it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, everybody. So hey you, what it do? It's just me, Evolution of Beauty, and I'm coming at you with another video. Happy holidays, everybody. I hope you all had an enjoyable Christmas weekend. And yeah, so let's just discuss the elephant in the room. Yes, I did cut my hair. <clears throat> That'll be in a future video. Well, hey, today I'm here with a haul video. This is my end of the end of the year slash birthday slash Christmas holiday. Okay, so you guys sit back, relax, cause it's I guess it's kind of a lot of stuff. So let's just jump right on into it, shall we? So let's start with Bath and Body Works. You know, Bath and Body Works always has that um, the sale with their lotions and that I had a 30% coupon I like Bath and Body Works lotion but um <clears throat> the scents I like in particular are their holiday scents and so I went to get their holiday scents because I absolutely love them and I got five uh, six of them I think I got three of each scent and I have the Twisted Peppermint and I have the what is this? <clears throat> the Vanilla Bean Noel. I absolutely love these scents. This is a nice, refreshing, clean, minty, minty scent and leaves your body. And is it just me? Has anybody been buying the Bath & Body Works lotions lately? Does it seem to you? Because it seems to me like they tried to make them a little bit more moisturizing. I don't know. Maybe it's in my head. I don't know. But yeah, I love the scents. And I do kick it up, kick it up a notch because I add coconut oil before I add the lotions and then this is the vanilla bean I absolutely love this one now I do love the van the warm vanilla sugar but I like the vanilla bean no Noel even better because it actually smells like the actual vanilla vanilla I cannot talk vanilla bean so yeah I got these I also got frosted wonderland and this is what I usually buy I usually buy the um, what is this called the body creams because they're more thick and moisturizing but yeah let me know what you think about the lotions do you think that they made them a little bit more moisturizing to you or not I'm not sure anybody by, by the way this one is I told you frosted wonderland and it smells absolutely amazing it smells divine divine okay <clears throat> another thing I got was this lipstick I absolutely love it it's by Milani and it's called double espresso and it looks like this beautiful color. I'm just washing on my hand. Yeah, this is an awesome color. I showed this color. I posted a picture on my Facebook page and on the group that I am in and everybody just went crazy over this color but then nobody could not find it. And I was looking for this color myself and I finally found it but it was only one. It was in the last. It was in it and it was the last one. So yeah, this is an awesome color. If you can find it, pick it up. I don't know how much Milani lipsticks are. Are they $3.99? Oh, no, I forgot. <clears throat> and I got that from my local CVS. But I believe, Wal does Walmart carry Milani? I know CVS carries Milani, Kmart, Target. I'm not sure anywhere else. Okay, so um, I bought this Black Radiance um, pressed powder in the color... What color is this? The color, the color mahogany, rich mahogany. Um, I was looking for a contour because I absolutely love the CoverGirl, and I use the CoverGirl um, Queen bronzer and ebony bronze. I absolutely love this one, but it has a shimmer to it, and I wanted something matte. And this one gives me a nice contour, and this is how it looks. And these were like, I think this was th three ninety nine, three ninety nine, or is it? $5. So $3.99 or $5 and um, I got it from CVS. 
So yeah, this color is actually very similar to the CoverGirl. Let me show you. And I think, yeah, so the only difference to me is the uh, shimmer that's in the CoverGirl powder. <clears throat> okay, so next, um, I actually had my girlfriend to look for me because um, she lives um, in another city than I do. Um, look for the Jamaican black castor oil line for me because I could not find it here um, in Michigan um, at the CVS's that I went to around my home. So she went to a CVS um, not too far from home, her, her home, gosh, and she found it. So she got the uh, styling lotion for me. She's going to send it to me. Thank you, sissy. But I actually went to um, my local CVS and I found the leave-in conditioner. So I got this and I'm very excited to try it. It smells amazing. This stuff is expensive. I need to catch this again when it's on sale. Somebody said it had a two for one or buy one, get one free. I'm going to need that sale because this was like $11. But yeah, this I got this and I'm really excited to try it. Um, I bought the Maybelline Fit Me because I've been seeing so much hype on this foundation. And I'm always in the market for a good foundation. So I got the color 340. And this foundation, and I, I believe this foundation was $7 because it was on sale at CVS. Okay, I got BB cream. I got Black Radiance BB cream. And the color I am in is uh, Cafe. And I got that. And this was 5 like $5.99, but ended up being on sale. So I think it was like $5.49 I got this for at my local CVS. Okay, next I got some rose water from my local health food store, which is $7.64. I absolutely love this stuff. And I use this um, to refresh my skin before I apply makeup, to refresh my makeup right after I apply it, to let the makeup like meld into my skin. It helps it do that and add some moisture. It has a very nice scent, and after I spray this, then I spray my setting spray on top of it. Love this stuff. Um, again, from my local CVS, I found this makeup brush. They have a collection of makeup brushes from MUA Professionals, and I found this brush. And oh my gosh, this line is so expensive to be in a drugstore, and this one brush was $19. Yeah, so I'm really excited to use it. It's medium density and it's a very soft. Yeah. So I got this brush and I really like it. Okay, so I got some eyeshadows. Um at again at my local my local CV my CVS is the bomb. So I got these two small purse size NYX um eyeshadow. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Eight pan eyeshadow palette. And this one is called Madeleines and Macaroons. And I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Beautiful colors. And these were $9 a piece. Kind of pricey, but I absolutely love NYX shadows. So, and I thought these were excellent to put in my purse for travel and things like that. And this one is called Merci Beaucoup. Yeah, these are awesome. The next palette is also a NYX palette, and the pigmentation of these shadows is even better than these little ones um, that I showed you. I got this from my local beauty supply store, and it was $12. And this is the um, Dreamcatcher palette, and it's in Golden Horizons. This is how it looks. And these are the colors. Beautiful palette. The next palette I got was from my local TJ Maxx, and it is an e.l.f. palette. This palette was $5, and it was the last one, so I could not pass it up. And you'll see a theme here that I love neutrals. And this is the colors. This is how the colors look in the palette. Very beautiful. Nice, very nice pigmentation on these. I have used, I have used this one. 
for to do a couple of looks. Now the next is my birthday haul. I got the Interstellar palette, the Kat Von D Interstellar. Look at that packaging, it's absolutely amazing. I think this palette was like $50, 40-something to $50. It comes with a big mirror, and look at these colors. Absolutely amazing. Love the shadows, smooth and creamy, and nice pigmentation. Love them. And then the next palette is the Smashbox Double Exposure. I think these palettes both were like between $40 and $60. Um, did I say $40, $60? and $60? $40 and $50, yeah. Quite pricey, but I love them. This is advertised as a wet, dry palette, but anyway, it has a nice mirror. Comes with a nice little dual sided brush. It's okay. I'll use it for something. <laughs> and look at all the nice colors. Beautiful. Now, what I will say is that I like this palette. I like it a whole lot. And I like it better dry than wet. Yes, the pigmentation on these are awesome. Dry. Wet, I don't really see too much of a difference. And mm, they don't go on as smoothly, smoothly as they do... Uh, dry versus wet as wet versus dry that's what I should say but yeah I love these colors smash box and I think is that it that is the end of my haulage okay if you're still here thank you for watching this video hope you guys are having an awesome week and I'll see you again on the next video peace